Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greetings, esteemed judges and valued audience members. In this video project, I'm excited to present to you a fascinating topic, the application of number theory in the RSA algorithm. I extend a warm welcome to all of you as we delve into the world of mathematics and encryption. In this video, we will explore the intricate relationship between number theory and the RSA algorithm, a widely used encryption method in modern communication systems. Before we dive into the content, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Khairul Latif, representing Walisawa State Islamic University, pursuing a bachelor's degree in mathematics education. In the development of computer network security or cybersecurity systems, cryptography is widely used as one of the key tools. Do you know what cryptography is? Cryptography is a technique used to convey messages, covertly by utilizing data encryption. The encryption process transforms plain text into encrypted text or ciphertext, while the decryption process converts ciphertext back into plain text. Now, one of the most important and widely used types of cryptography in digital communication security is RSA crypt cryptography. RSA cryptography is an asymmetric encryption algorithm widely used in information security. It is named after its inventors Ron Rivas, Adi Shamir, and Leonard Adelman who introduced it in 1977. The RSA algorithm operates on the mathematical properties of prime numbers, modular arithmetic, and exponentiation. It utilizes a pair of keys, a public key for encryption, and a private key for decryption. The security of RSA encryption relies on the difficulty of factoring large composite numbers into their prime factors. The RSA scheme is a block cipher where the plain text and ciphertext are integers between 0 and n minus 1 for some value of n. The commonly used size for n is 1024 bits or 309 decimal digits, which means that the value of n is less than 2 to the power of 1024. The formula for the encryption process is C equals P raised to the power of E modulo N, whereas the formula for the decryption process is P equals C raised to the power of D modulo N, which is equal to P raised to the power of E raised to the power of D modulo N. The value of n is known to both the sender and the receiver. The value of e is known to the sender and the value of d is only known to the receiver. Next is the topic of RSA key pair generation. RSA key pair generation involves the following steps. Choose to distinct prime numbers p and q. Calculate the modulus n by multiplying p and q. Compute Euler resolution function as the product of p minus 1 and q minus 1, which represents the count of positive integers less than n that are coprime to n. Choose e such that e greater than 1 and less than Toshin function, where e is coprime to Toshin function and the greatest common divisor of e and Toshin function is 1. Calculate the private exponent e, which is the modular multiplicative inverse of e modulo Toshin function, such that e times t is congruent to 1 
merilotation function. D is equal to 1 plus q times social function divided by E. By trying different values of k, calculate the value of d until an integer value is obtained. The plain text p is private and the cipher text c is public. Let's do simulation. The question is, given two prime numbers, E equals 3 and Q equals 11, a public key E equals 7 and a plain text of 18. Let's perform RSA encryption and decryption. The key generation involves P equals 3 and Q equals 11. The value of N is obtained from the multiplication of P and Q, resulting in 33. The value of Toshin function obtained from the multiplication of P minus 1 and Q minus 1, resulting in 20. Public key E equals 7. And to calculate the perfect private key D, we need to find the modular multiplicative inverse of E modular function function. In this case, D equals 3, as 7 times 3 is congruent to 1 modulo 20. Next is the process of RSA encryption. Let's directly substitute the values into the formula. Given a plain text P equals 18 and public key E equals 7 and modulus N equals 33, therefore uh, the ciphertext for the plain text 18 using RSA encryption is 6. Lastly, let's find the plain text through the process of RSA decryption. Hence, the plain text obtained through RSA decryption using ciphertext 6 is 18. Next, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of RSA cryptography. The advantages of RSA cryptography include RSA offers a high level security when implemented correctly, especially with a sufficiently large key size. This security is based on the difficulty of factoring large composite numbers. RSA is an asymmetric encryption algorithm, which means it uses a different key for encryption and decryption. This enables secure key exchange and facilitates secure communication between parties without prior communication or shared secrets. RSA can be used to create digital signatures providing integrity and authenticity for digital documents. It allows recipients to verify the sender's identity and ensure that the message has not been tampered with. RSA provides a robust framework for key management. The public key can be freely distri distributed while the private key remains secret allowing for secure communication even in, even in potentially untrusted environment. The disadvantages of RSA cryptography include RSA involves computationally intensive operations, especially with large numbers. 
generating and verifying RSA signatures as well as performing encryption and decryption can be research intensive especially with longer key lengths. Longer key lengths are required for stronger security but this increases the computational overhead and impact performance. RSA with very large key size may slow down encryption and decryption process. RSA does not provide a built-in mechanism for secure key distribution. The secure exchange of public keys between communicating parties must be ensured through other means, such as a trusted third party or a public key infrastructure. RSA is vulnerable to attacks from quantum computers, which can factor large numbers efficiently using algorithms like Shor's algorithm. As quantum computing advances, the security of RSA may be compromised unless suitable post-quantum cryptography algorithms are used. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.